Hey, welcome, welcome. It's kind of a bad day. It's been raining and cold. So we're gonna make a little walk. That's Brant there, my grandson. Hey, welcome, welcome. We're gonna take a, a little walk down to a little small town in called Valley Head, Alabama. Come along with me. The railroad track. Mm -hmm. That's the old abandoned house. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, my friend Ben lives all the way over there where that white house is. Does he? Yeah. I seen him at I seen him at Halloween. I seen him when I went like, to the trailer. That little town. You just barely can't see it from here. Here's the railroad. That's the little town of Valley Head, Alabama. Hey, Pa, did you remember we walked over here and, the, and there was a, a bird box over there the, that with all, the, with all that stuff in it? They had some bottles in there. I, them I guess. Here's this abandoned house. Nobody lived there and I don't know, five or six years now, I guess. There's the old mailbox. That's the very old one. Let's see if there's any mail in it. Oh, some old mail. We'll take it out. No, it's not ours. We won't take it out. Somebody might. Uh, can you close it? Yeah. Close it real tight. It's out of walk. Close it real tight. It's, yeah, we don't um, don't mess with nobody's mail. Yeah, because then it's old and old and rotten. If it gets rotten, and you can't push it in really good, hard. See if I can I can zoom down a little bit. Wait, wait. Oh, goodness, I'm getting stuck for a minute. Yeah, that's... Okay, I know. I know now. That's the city of Valley here. I know what it's about. That, that was the house. Uh, we... Oh, we wanted to... Uh, huh? You can walk down there. You want to walk down in that ditch? What if you fall? Okay. Hmm? And I'm in there. I threw a whole bunch of water and I jumped in and I banged my head out on the wall. Well, that wouldn't be much fun. Would it? No. This is a tiny town. Yeah, it's a little bitty town. But, but, Fort Payne is big town, right? Yeah, it's bigger than Valley Head. There's a gas station convenience store over there. See if I can zoom up there a little bit. Gas station, convenience store. I'm guessing it might be fun to live. Have fun in there. Get Sour Pats kids. Mm hmm. I got Sour Pats kids there. Well, those trees are pretty. Yeah. 
Oh, how? Though y'all. This is pretty. Once a year they fix this town up like Mayberry. We have a uh, Barney Fife here, looks just like him. I filmed it last year, but uh, my file got corrupt and I lost it. I'll try again this year when they fix it up like Mayberry. Oh, is that Christmas tree down there? Yeah, I do see. Right there on the pole. On the pole. On the power pole. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they got up the Christmas lights, hadn't they? Yeah. Yeah, I see. Huh? What if we walk over there? We're going to, I think. That building there on the other side of the railroad, that used to be the uh, locker room, the football field. Yeah, we're Used to be we're there. Like, the other part where they do this, do one, then do this, boom! I think the city uses that building to put their tractors and stuff in there. They do this, one, boom! I like it. Let's walk down here to the spring. Oh, look! And then the tunnel show was. And then the tunnel show was. Yeah. I reckon there's any ninjas in there. Can there's any ninjas inside of there? Yes, fighting. Fighting ninjas. Here's the spring. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like there's water coming out of it. Looks like there's water coming out of the spring. There's a big old hole over there. Yeah, it's caving in. It's not working. There's the stairs. Going down. I guess people used to get water out of here, but at one time, this is Wheels Creek, the beginning of Wheels Creek here. Wheels Creek winds up getting to be a large creek, and the city of Fort Payne winds up getting water out of it. I said, what? <laughs> Looks like somebody's uh, welcome mat. Yeah, somebody's somebody's welcome mat floated down. There's there's a Walmart bag. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that? Is something over there? What is that? I don't know. Let's go see. Is it a safe? Or is it a rock? I think it's a safe. I think it's one stuff down there. That's just a pointed rock. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! We used to There's use these kind of trees, there. these cedars for Christmas trees. There's a can in there. Can in that tree. Yeah. <laughs> Don't fall down in there, you see. What? We used to use those for Christmas trees when I was a boy. There's glass right there. Glass. Yeah, right there. Yeah, it's in the bank, isn't it? You see? But don't you fall in there. Like this? Oh yeah, somebody smashed it, didn't he? Hmm. Away. Do you see zoom in? Not, there's like a, there's a kid in the tree over there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they've got up the Christmas tree. Yeah, 
Christmas decorations. Like everyone walked down the stairs and drank some water out of it. Well, they'd get it in uh, jugs and carry it home. Yeah, that, that was where that was where Banda was. Ben. He, he goes to that school without a mom. But since I'm not living. Let's go over here and look at this, uh, this sign. This is Wilson House behind these cedars. This used to be a plantation house yeah, with slaves. And uh, this is a site of the Sequoia Indians where they invented their and used their first alphabet. The lawyer's office. That used to be a laundry a long time ago. Over here, this building here in front of that Prius. That was a clothing store. It's a sign place now. They sold uh, HIS brand clothing. Probably not many of you out there remember that. That next building was a barber shop and a beauty shop. It's been vacant for quite some time now. Over here, the Masons are still upstairs. And this used to be the bank. I mean, not the bank, the uh, post office. It's a beauty shop now. In this patio used to be a nice movie theater there. I wish I still had the picture of that. on that hill there where that power pole there was a nice railroad station city had it tore down we made a mistake there it's a construction company office and here this restaurant's been here for years Tigers Inn see if we can see in the door Maybe you can see in there a little bit. Get close for Thanksgiving. This was a doctor's office, Dr. Quinby. He died. He used to come to your house, make house calls, charge $15. Another doctor tried to make it there, but it's be, it's vacant now. See if we can see in there. Electricity's still on. That was where the train depot was. <laughs> this. This is a counter drug. Used to be Coleman's drugs. I reckon it still does all right. You can see in there. There's the, uh, the bank across the street, Citizens Bank. It used to be in that building down there where the brown door is on the end. 
They built a new bank. Post office is behind it. Kind of see. And then there's that uh, gray building way out there was a uh, lumber mill. It's old hardware. Upstairs. This building here, which is pretty much falling down, it used to be a saddle shop that made uh, saddles for horses. And then it was an appliance repair place. You can still see Whirlpool there a little bit. It was the last businesses in there. You can see there the roofs fell in. There used to be TVs and stuff in there, but looks like somebody's got in there and dug them out. Used to be parts there in the back. They made a little park out of this. Used to be a store here. Had a beauty shop in it. Let's walk around here to the back and see if there's still anything in the back of this old plant store. This is the alley in the back of the stores. So metal, metal door here. See if it still opens. Oh yeah, it's still open. Oh, see the steel parts. Steel parts on the shelves. <laughs> New parts. light switch. <laughs> Shut the door back. This nice little park. A pergola above it. You know, this building here, like I said, that the brown door used to be this bank. It looked look like something out of the old west. And that building next to it used to be a supermarket. I actually worked there when I was a teenager. Delivered groceries to people's houses. They put their milk stuff in the refrigerator. Uh, this used to be a hardware store here. I think it's just been taken in by this antique store which used to be an appliance store years ago we've got some nice antiques here see if we can see in there a little bit uh, maybe you can kind of see in there building, a great building there. Uh, that used to be a, uh, an old gas station. It's a barbecue place now. Just sign over here. Former side of Battelle, 
thriving iron, core, and coal community. 1900s. Inside the break the window. I've been up there at Bat Tail. There was a few houses and stuff, I'd say 20 years ago, but last time I went up that way, you couldn't even, the road had grown completely up. Uh, when I went up there, I went in a, in a cut down Volkswagen. Neat, uh, neat sign of the old town painted on on that antique building. That building in front of us used to be a a gas station. What there? Yep. Uh, it's a barbecue place now. I haven't eaten there, but uh, they say it's really good barbecue. There's a uh, tooling machine shop. That blue and gray building. Next to it, it used to be the phone company. It used to have a door, you went in there and paid your bill. And there used to be an old phone booth there beside of it. Of course, now it's just a uh, remote location. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. Which one? You? In that building over there. We'll see. In the drugstore. Mm hmm. Saw the video was inside of it. Yeah, I remember when this, the pumps, the gas pumps, were right there between them poles. It was a thriving uh, gas station. Yeah. Of course, now it's a barbecue place. This building used to be the Valley Head uh, Telephone Company. Here where the sign is, you can see there where the door used to be and the steps where you'd go in and pay your phone bill. Oh, look right there. And there's where the phone booth used to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. But okay. now it's just used as a remote station. CenturyLink. This used to be a gas station too. A little produce market now. There's where the gas pumps used to be there where that flower pot is. Why is that all this stuff closed? Uh, it's Saturday. You'd think they'd be open, but they're not. Your train are coming. Fire department. There's a train. I don't know if you can tell on that video or not, we just kind of walked around the square, the streets. behind uh, the buildings we were at before. And back here's the jail. See where the bars are at. That's the city jail. There where those bars are at. That's a, I've, I've I've been down there and looked at them. I wouldn't want to be put in there. It's kind of like down in a hole. Uh, did, you, did, did you see some people be in that jail? No, I didn't see nobody in it. Uh, there's police department.
there's the train slowly poking down this way. I guess we should have got across the track before the train got down here. We may have to wait a long time. There's Wheels Creek. Let's see if we can get across before the train gets here. Come on, hurry. All right. Must have took them a break. A lot of times the train stops here. They take a break while they wait on another train. It may be coming in the other direction. And then we will film this on, on YouTube, right? Yeah. This, I think this is a Norfolk Southern, yeah. Norfolk Southern. Water. Don't fall in there. You don't blow the horn. You cover up your ears. never know. He'll probably surprise us. He'll probably surprise us. That's the horn.
That's pretty good, wasn't it?